ago, Apple introduced the Titanium G4, and no one has come close to it yet. And now Apple is raising the bar again with the world's first 17-inch notebook. We took the same gorgeous display as the 17-inch iMac and created the new PowerBook around it. Yet incredibly, it's only one inch thin and weighs only 6.8 pounds. The new PowerBook is unquestionably the most difficult PowerBook we've, we've ever designed. I mean, the 17-inch display defines the XY, but the real challenge is, is with the product's thickness. And it, it took the collective learning of the entire team to actually make this the thinnest PowerBook ever. Now for an optimal strength to weight ratio, we actually formed the, the main shells from, from an aircraft grade anodized aluminium, which is not only a really beautiful material, but it's actually extremely durable. We've combined a one gigahertz G4 processor with a new high performance architecture to make the fastest PowerBook ever. There are two Firewire ports, one using the new high-speed Firewire 800, an industry first. The 17-inch PowerBook is the first notebook in the world to ship with the new 802.11g wireless standard. We call it Airport Extreme. And with built-in Bluetooth, you can surf the web or check your email without cumbersome cables. One of my favorite new features is the fiber optic system for backlighting the keyboard. There are two ambient light sensors that are continually adjusting the illumination of the display and of the keyboard. And typically Apple, the, the nature of the solution is so understated, it, it, it completely belies the complexity of the problem it's actually solving. And if creating the world's largest notebook wasn't enough, Apple has also created the world's smallest, full-featured 12-inch notebook. Tiny, but with all the features you'd expect from a PowerBook G4. with both the largest and smallest full-featured notebooks ever made. You'll have a hard time remembering why you ever needed a desktop. How'd you finally do it? Do what? Managed to give a woman flowers and be president at the same time. Well, it turns out I've got a rose garden. I wrote the American president on what was the first Apple portable computer. I wrote the series Sports Night on a G3, and now I write the West Wing on a G4. So the computer is my friend. Writing, whether you're writing a movie or a television series, is a tremendous amount of rewriting. You really want to be able to see as much of the page as you can. A big screen like this is a lot of help. You're cutting and pasting, and you're moving this speech uh, to that scene, and you're cutting this scene and moving it to that episode. It doesn't feel like the world is coming down around you anymore. You can kind of see your work in front of you. This is the kind of thing that Apple and only Apple seems to uh, come out with. Um, uh, you know, I'm not sure uh, with what part of the brain they're thinking, but it's the good part. And this is by a company called Apple. I've always traveled with my PowerBook wherever I go in any country that I'm in. Apple computer. It's just simple, it's easy, and it, it always works. This is sweet. This this will easily fit in any ba anybody's backpack. You, you're going to find photojournalists are going to just crave this one. The most fun about being a photojournalist is that you get to compete with your friends every day. And if you can beat the next guy by even 10 seconds, you win. You beat him, and your picture appears in the paper, or it gets on a website. And that's what's really cool. I love that, and anything that increases our speed will help me over the next guy. With Bluetooth technology, being able to transmit my pictures right from my computer, right off my cell phone, without having to dig it out of the pack, just keeping it in my backpack or whatever, is going to be a huge advantage. That's terrific. This is my digital darkroom on the road. I want powerful tools, but I want them to become secondary to my art, which is music, and Mac lets me do that. I didn't think that you guys would be able to top the titanium, and that's what's so astonishing about this. 
I really enjoy having multiple monitors hooked to the same computer because it allows you to kind of separate the applications you're working on. And so to be able to do that on stage is just going to be outrageous, man. What's going on? Oh, you have to be choking me. Oh my god! Wait, and it's auto-sensing? You turn the lights down? Okay. This is where, when do you guys stop thinking of cool stuff? Poor PC users are gonna have major gear lust now. They thought it was bad before. 